Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Wreck Bike Rebuild Garage. We are here working on our CBR 1000, day 28. 28 days in, today we're going to be installing the wiring harness and all the little piddly stuff that needs to go on with the harness as well. By the time we are done with this episode, we should have the harness installed, cut down to size, routed where it's going to be routed, and uh, all the wiring connected. Come on along for this super long trip down wiring harness road to, uh, to get this thing just that much closer to being a running riding machine. Electrical is one of those things where we're getting close to the end. It's almost like putting the pretty stuff on at the end. You got to do all the stuff that's going to go under the pretty stuff right before you put the pretty stuff on. So we're getting close to the end here. I know you guys have been hanging in. It's been a long time, but, um, you know, 29 days in and our bike is almost fully complete. I really just want to get this thing done for you all. So we're going to get to work. We're going to put this harness in. We're going to get the exhaust, the radiator, everything plugged in, lights working. Hopefully my hands aren't bleeding too bad by the time this is over. Let's get to work, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started in day 28, visit Patreon and uh, for as little as $5 a month, you could win one of our other builds coming up in the future. CBR 1000's already been given away, so if you want your chance for the 300 and 600, now's your time. A little, little lost in my head because there's a lot going on in here right now as far as what needs to be done here. We need to modify this front sub harness that goes in the front fairing and trim it down. There are some things on here that we're no longer going to have. I won't really know until I drop a battery in this thing and pretty much turn the key. Put power to it. You know, and I have to have the gauge on there to see if there's lights up on the dash and all that other shit. So um, what I would really like to do, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to split this side of the harness from this side of the harness. I see. This is pretty much all the lighting and this is going to be the gauge cluster and uh, all of the, all that stuff. It's not gonna be crazy. You guys aren't gonna see a, a whole lot of uh, changes today, but this is all just getting the bike to the point where it will run and act correctly so you'll see the front upper um bracket headlight and gauge cluster mounted on the bike that'll be like the biggest visual thing the rest of it's going to be like little fiddly you know stab myself in the fingers with sharp things wiring day <laughs> so here we go yay <laughs> this thing and you even clear coated it yeah this thing's yeah, ready it's nice and light it'll good god it'll never not look just like this look at you <laughs> look he milled out all these little grooves in here too you gotta make it lighter but you didn't have to polish it <laughs> <laughs> well he, he all right so this was an aluminum rod yes and he milled out all this extra the, aluminum the fluting in here to take off extra weight and drill a hole all the way through the center of it oh was it a solid piece yeah oh so you had to drill it too so after he went and machined all the fluting out he went back through and polished it before clear coating it <laughs> this is pretty nice judd thank you you didn't charge enough i hadn't gotten paid yet nobody <laughs> nobody's seen the invoice <laughs> <laughs> come look at this really close i mean when you can you focus on that you get it in the light right now. It kind of like kinda, shimmers. Yeah. That's an old process that I had known about, gosh, since I was a kid, but I had never tried it myself before. So this was I've, somewhat. I've a, seen this done. Yeah, well, if you. And it's. The spirit of St. Louis. Unbelievably labor intensive. Come look at that. They use that uh, technique a lot in like gold leafing and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or stuff that they're putting gold leaf around yeah. to make it look as good as the gold leaf. Yeah. This thing's incredible. It's like a shame that yeah, we're going to have to like bury this thing. Tools. Right. Thank you. 
we are going to install the cluster onto it because it's going to be a little tough to get to it once it's already on the bike. Uh, then we're going to install it onto the machine, put the headlight in it, and then we can get the wiring that we need to to it so we can see where we're at. But man, look at that thing. Nice. All right guys, so uh, we have our front bracket on. Headlight is loosely mounted. It's not exactly where it's gonna wind up finished, but it's in place. Bracket is bolted on, gauge cluster is mounted. Now from here, we're gonna move to trying to separate some of this harness out. This leg of the harness right here is all lighting. So I'm gonna try and separate this lighting leg of this harness from, this is all of the control stuff for the gauge cluster and then a couple of relays. I'm gonna try and get this separated into two separate halves. Hopefully I can. Hopefully there's no shared wires in this. It's, uh, this is gonna be a little, little tedious, little fiddly. I might have to temporarily hang the, um, the radiator to do this, or we may put the head pipe on and the radiator mount them permanently. Whatever we need to do to get this wiring squared away is really the next part, because this thing's not going anywhere without electricity. So upper stay is on. We're going to what, mount the brackets that hold the front fairing to the frame. I think because Judd wants to do this part to make sure everything is uh, is done correctly. Sorry we're gonna, to sleep tonight. We're gonna we're gonna hang the fairing on. We're gonna drill all the holes in the fairing that are necessary to mount it permanently. Just to just so he can get this on here, and maybe he can drill the holes while I'm trying to split this harness, and yeah. we can both get something done. Um, but we want to make sure that all this fits correctly. We can get the headlight mounted and aimed correctly and all that stuff just to be sure if we have to we could just power the headlight just to see where it sits in there if we have uh, if we have blinkers somewhere too that probably wouldn't be a bad time to get the blinkers started as just well just so you, you know what you know wire where they're at how much wire i need and all right. that other stuff so yeah. thing from back the way i'm too close to it this looks so good dude look at the headlight look at the fairing wrapped around that headlight mm -mm, it's right i think we ought, i almost think we ought to just back it out of the clamp and do a swing on the bars perfect <laughs> not having any interference with nothing that nothing is touching anything cool anywhere. beans all right. <laughs> Celebration time. <laughs> All righty. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. So it we works. fitted our, our gas tank shell. It is uh, directly lined up over the bolt holes in the rear. We have the two bolts in the front for the cover in place. So this is exactly where this is going to sit. We have our front upper mounted up here by these two brackets that are attached to the frame. Now we just need to do the final. You see this moves just a little bit still. So there's just two more holes that need to be drilled in this for the hardware that mounts up underneath upward. Um, but to do that, we needed to get all this set to make sure that these brackets were in the right place, centered, equidistant away from the cover. Um, now we need to pull this off real quick, pull the headlight out of it so we can get to the, to the holes to make some marks um, so we can get this thing drilled. Let's get the upper off. Let's get the gas tank cover off and it back away so it doesn't get damaged. I just love how that white goes and tuck, almost stripe. perfectly touches yeah, the next yeah. white line. Lines right up. You know what I mean? So it's the, the people that we choose to work on our stuff are the right people. Yeah. We have clearance with the handlebars, triple trees to the fairing. We have clearance for the ignition switch, the clutch cable to the gauge cluster. Everything moves the way that it's supposed to. Everything fits where it's supposed to fit. Super happy right now with where we're at. Let's get the pretty stuff off 
and uh, get back working on the ugly stuff that goes underneath it. I don't want to jinx it, but maybe the tides are turning on this bike. So I'm having fun here with uh, with spaghetti. Uh, these are the two plugs for the ram air duct solenoids that are not going back in. We're not putting the ram air ducts back on. Um, I looked at the wiring diagram and it doesn't look like there's gonna be any issues with removing this. These are the two wires that need to go back to the tip over. So I'm gonna put a little plug on both of these and then run this back to the tip over sensor that's in the back of the bike uh, which I already have the harness for it plugged into the sensor so I just need to run wires from this to that and my tip over sensor is in. I'll probably try and shorten some of this wiring up because they don't need to be this long and then this is the plug for the headlight high beam low beam blinkers and running lights and then this runs off to these two plugs let me just show you in here so you're not thinking There's little plugs in here one side is for left blinker one side's for right blinker and then there is also a running light that is uh was in the original headlight in the corners and uh, they were plugged into there as well we don't have all that stuff so really all we need is the blinker connector here which means that i can delete that running light if i want to um, i'll probably leave it in the harness so we have some place to add extra lighting to if necessary later we'll have a nice little spot that's already wired into the harness with the fuse and everything. So I'll probably just leave it, but this is the stuff that we're gonna need to hide as best we can. And uh, I think now I'm just going to wire my tip over sensor and clean that whole thing up. And uh, that part will be done. So uh, I need to make some connectors. It still looks like I have a giant jumbo mess of wires here, but I do have everything segregated where it needs to be. Um, this is my main harness, and this is now my tip over sensor harness that I have runs to the back of the bike. I didn't attach the wire yet in the rear because I'm not sure where this is going to live yet. So um, once that is squared away, then I can pull all the excess wire through and make this wire as, uh, as short as I can. We have the front upper, which is now up on top of the toolbox. All the holes for the rubber grommets and mounting hardware have been drilled. Um, so uh, we could mount the front upper on here, ready to go. It's, uh, it's in a nice spot. So um, I got my tip over sensor handled. So the rest of it now is I'm gonna change uh, my focus to the lighting system. Let me see if we can't thin some of this madness out here, so. That's where we be. Yay. Okay. Here's where we are. The harness is laid in. I've got a good mental uh, picture as to how everything is going to finish up in here. I do need to do a little bit of research and find out if I have to reinstall the secondary air solenoid or not. I need to do that research before I continue on. My next step from here is going to be the head pipe and the radiator so I can finish all the wiring for that stuff. Know where all that stuff is gonna go, how long the wires need to be so I can tidy all this up. I'm gonna have to find a clean way to route it and uh, figure out how much of this harness I could actually get rid of. Once I figure out how long this actually needs to be, then uh, I can uh, trim some of this up and neaten all this up so it's nicey-nicey and it'll tuck behind everything and it'll look nice and pretty. So um, we're gonna finish up today, give me some time. You guys don't need to see me with my nose in the computer looking for information. So we're gonna finish up today here and uh, now I get to go sit in front of a computer for a couple hours, so we'll see you guys on Thursday. We'll see you guys on the next day that we see you.
in like one second. <laughs> yes. <laughs> back again for more wiring torture you could tell that I love doing this stuff and uh, we're gonna continue on we have uh, some stuff to take off we're gonna play a little uh, put it together take it apart game once again today we need uh, access to reinstall the secondary air solenoid otherwise it's gonna throw a check engine light in our system according to my research yesterday so um, we're gonna have to remove the air box again to get down to the little spot where that connects to the bike and we'll rehang it and plug it back into the harness and then pile all this stuff back on again. Um, from there, we still have uh, the rest of this wiring harness up front that we need to address and complete. So we need to make sure that everything is in its home and everything is going to clear and reach everything that it needs to. So I'm gonna have to hang the head pipe and the radiator so I can get all of the fan plugs routed properly. And uh, this uh, this piece of plastic, if you could see, that mounts on top of the radiator somehow so it doesn't go anywhere. So um, that needs to have its home as well to make sure that we can finish our wiring. So uh, we've got a bunch of little more fiddly stuff to do today. Um, I think I'm actually going to start with uh, removing the air box, getting the secondary air solenoid back on, plugged in. Uh, from there, I'll do the head pipe and the radiator, and then we'll get back focused on the harness itself. Um, you know, we kind of need to have all the electrical components on the bike right now to finish off the harness. So um, we have our headlight up on the toolbox. That'll be our last part that needs to go on and, and be finalized. So. Um, Away we go. Bunch more stuff. That's no fun to watch us doing. But this is uh, this is all the stuff that makes your bike look really good at the end. Is all the little finishing stuff. So. We got the secondary air solenoid back on the machine plugged into the harness so it's not going to trip any check engine lights for us. We did the uh, block off tube on the bottom of the air box where the secondary air used to go to, reinstalled properly the crankcase or the um, uh, valve cover breathe breather that goes to the air box. That is done as well. I think that's really the only crankcase breather on this whole thing too is through the head, which I find a little strange as well. Everything comes up through the cam chain galley, so it's gonna be there anyway, but usually you get two. You get one in the head, one in the block. This thing's only got the one breather in the head, so. I also reinstalled the side stand switch, which I know you can't see it, but it's actually back here on the back of the side stand, which is kind of nice that it's not out in the open for all to see. It's kind of tucked away and uh, it looks pretty good like that. So we're just picking away at the electrical a little bit at a time. Now we're gonna move on to some more interesting stuff. We have to put some stuff on here to make sure that we have room for the rest of the harness. So we're gonna start with our, our head pipe. We'll get the head pipe bolted up to the engine, mounted to the bottom so it's not going anywhere. And then we will hang the radiator. Once the radiator is hung, we could plug all the stuff into that and keep moving forward. So our next step, head pipe. So let's, uh, let's go dig around for some uh, exhaust gaskets. What do you guys say? Okay. the head pipe on, bolted in place, torqued down. We have the radiator in place. Everything fits really, really good. I'm pretty happy about that. All the wires seem to line up exactly where they need to be, but the radiator is gross. It's filled with dried, crusty coolant. So before I hang this thing permanently, I think I'm gonna take it outside and stick a hose in it and let it, uh, let it get flushed. 
just because I don't want all that junk inside of our bike. Can't have a really you know, high horsepower, hot engine and then have a shitty cooling system. That makes a whole lot of no good. in the beginning that I might have brain fry before I got finished today and that's where we're at now. Um, we have pretty much all of the harness plugged in except for the lighting. So we've got everything routed, um, airbox is on hopefully for the last time. I got everything plugged into it and underneath it and around it that needs to be done. We got the uh, secondary air solenoid plugged back into the harness tucked up into the machine so it's not going to fetch anything up. Um, we got the front harness routed in a way that is going to allow us to hide the wires as best we can. I need to finish up the lighting harness in the front so I know exactly how much harness I'm going to pull towards the front of the machine so I can uh, finish up my tip over sensor wiring that I started the other day. That'll be probably the last thing that I wire in. Um, but we'll get all this stuff routed, clipped down the size, soldered, taped, ready to be final mounted on the next one. That's all we're going to do is I'm going to take the front upper off. I'm going to take care of all the lighting and then the one wire for the tip over sensor and our harness will be done. But as of right now, um, my brain is like jelly from staring at this thing and I really don't want to screw anything up. So uh, we're going to break until the next day and we'll get back to the wiring then. See you guys later. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Day three on the electrical system here with our CBR1000 Street Fighter build. Um, hopefully this will be the last day we need to get all this wiring buttoned up and tested. We're hopefully going to drop a battery in this thing and make sure all the electrical works. Um, we have some switches to install and plug in so we can test everything. But uh, for now, headlight goes on, wiring gets handled. Um, and that's where we're starting first. So let's uh, get this front upper off so we can access all the wiring and, uh, and get to work. Work to work. It's going to work. Doing some more work. I know it may not look 100% complete, but this is going to be my final wiring. I still have to tape everything off, but I'm going to tape it up so it's full harness, zip tight here, so everything's tucked in behind the gauge cluster and the headlight. So when you're looking down, all you're going to see is this black harness right here. This is for my horn. These will all get covered. This is all going to get taped up and zip tied right up here to this, uh, to this bracket. And all you're going to see is a little black piece of harness come right out here. And then from there to there, and it's going to disappear. That's all you're going to see. So pretty happy about that. I do need Chase for a moment. I need to question about what he thinks about these blinkers to see if we need to add some to it because it's pretty dim. So blinker. Yikes. How dim that is. So do we add blinkers? And if we're going to put blinkers on it, where do they go? I mean, that's kind of the best place because the fairing is here. Mm -hmm. So the wires would only have to run slightly. Right to here. Okay, so I don't know if you uh, can hear me, but if you can, it, it's sketchy now. <laughs> so let's make it not. I'm also a little concerned that they may not be visible enough where they're at either. Uh, the clampy boys, grab me the, the front upper and I'll just stick it on here and we'll see where the bottom is. And can't even do that. Do we put stock blinkers on and drop them off of the lower triple tree bolt? Do we do bar end blinkers? That. That might work. 
So we need to figure out will the bar in mirrors that we have mess with the potential blinkers if we use them. We may I have like to get a very idea. specific type yeah. of blinker to go with it. I feel like that's probably our best bet right now because this is not that's that's going to be blocked by a car. And, and I would down. really hate to put blinkers on this. We're not putting blinkers on that. Let's look into bar in mirror or blinkers. bar in blinkers. Bar in blinkers. Okay. So we'll leave this for now, but this is going to be our harness, man. It's going to be all tucked up back here. That looks clean as f for being all that that I had custom. to. I mean, all this stuff that's laying down here is all that I've omitted. So uh, I have these three wires to attach. Okay. That's for the tip over sensor. Okay. And I have the tail light to do. Okay. And the wiring and stuff. Like. Uh, I am going to have to tap into uh, my blinker wire setup in here and uh, grab a ground and then left and right blinkers to run them, but not a huge deal. I'll just have to like uh, put a little piggyback loop on that. Cool. Or I'll take those off and I'll put connectors on it. You can plug two wires into each one, something like that, just to clean everything up. Right. Um, I think I'm gonna do the tail now. We just discussed, we're probably gonna add some uh, blinkers up on the front of the bike because the integrated one and the headlight is just a little too dim. So um, we need to get those blinkers here before we can finish out. So I'm going to move on from here. I'm going to have to mess with this wiring, so I don't want to finish wrap everything yet. We're going to move on to the tail section. We're going to get the tail light, brake light, blinkers wired and hooked up to the, uh, to the harness back here. And then uh, we should be one step closer, I guess. I don't want to say ready to go, but at least one step closer. I have my switches plugged in just so I can test everything. Everything seems to be working OK. So uh, let's get these rear lights uh, installed, plugged in, wired, all that stuff, and uh, one step closer to the finished product. So. All right, everybody, uh, our wiring harness is now fully installed. There are some uh, real, real small things that I need to go back into the manual for to verify a couple of small wire colors. I have one connector left out of all the connectors that I've already done on here. I don't think you guys need to watch me do that anymore. I'll probably wind up cleaning that up uh, off camera so you guys don't have to suffer with me. Um, but our episode of wiring harness is uh, complete. Um, we're not going to put the switches on the handlebar because we need to take them back off again. So we're going to leave those loose for now. They are still plugged in, just kind of hanging. We've got our harness in, front upper stay on, headlight gauge cluster installed, um, radiator installed, header pipe installed. All the hoses are hooked up, all the fans are plugged in, all the switches are plugged in. Um, we are just a couple more small things away from this being a running, riding motorcycle. We're finally going to end this episode for you guys. The harness is in, it's on, it's modified, it's going to live where it's going to live. And uh, it's going to be really, really nice when we're uh, all said and done, taped and uh, taped and harnessed off. So a couple small things left and uh, we're going to be able to fire this thing up pretty soon. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am for it. We're all very excited in the shop to have this thing completed and go down the road. So uh, tail section is on, lights are wired in, headlight is on, wired in, pretty happy that things are coming together. Um, from here, it's really just some hardware and some covers and a couple little tiny things and we'll be good to go soon enough. So um, I know I'm missing something, but uh, we still have more work to do. So we'll get to it eventually. So. Um, Thank you for sticking around for the entire wiring harness. I know it's a, a bit painful to watch. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, um, but these are the small finishing touches that finish your build off versus it looking unfinished. Again, thanks for uh, hanging out and uh, watching the content here on the Rec Bike Rebuild Garage, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. So uh, outro crew, um, let us know if you were able to follow 
our harness install. I know it's a little convoluted. Did you understand it? Do you know you're electrical? Um, would you have done anything differently? Don't forget to put the OC so we know it's outro crew in the remarks and I uh, will see you next time.